welcome all. Um, I've got a little bit of a, an interesting uh, topic today, hopefully, uh, and something that will um, hopefully help you all, uh, especially those who have been looking for a simple remote control for a Blackmagic uh, Pocket 4K, 6K and 6K Pro. I'm assuming that this will work with all of them. Um, for several years now I've been waiting, uh, looking for a uh, simple remote control for my Pocket 4K um, that doesn't involve mobile phones or any complexity. Um, every time I picked up this camera I cursed Blackmagic for not providing a uh, simple way of uh, remotely controlling it. I think all of their other uh, models have a LAN port and so on that enables you to put a cable uh, connection to it and remotely uh, operate the uh, start-stop on the camera. Where they put the little uh, button in between the uh, grip and the lens turret, I've heard that it's supposed to be for vloggers so they can pull it, put their finger in there and start recording. Uh, reality is, is that it's far easier to just to press the red button on the, uh, the handle itself. Uh, so, had Blackmagic actually had their act together, they could have put a 2.5mm uh, plug inside the, uh, in place of the uh, little red button in there, or a micro USB port, so that people could actually manufacture a wired or a wired to wireless uh, remote control for it, like you can get with every other camera um, on the planet. Um, but they didn't do that, and it really has annoyed me so many times. The event that I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was using the camera on the gimbal and on my Flycam Galaxy Vest and accessing uh, start-stop was a real pain. Having to use the screen, so many times I had to press two, three or four times before the button would engage uh, or disengage so to stop recording and I was just getting so frustrated by that. Uh, now there are two types of remotes that uh, people uh, are making uh, aftermarket. One is the mobile phone style. I've got uh, one application on mine which is a simple thing with a button I've spoken about before that uh, offers basically nothing more than a start-stop but you can't operate a mobile phone if you're holding a camera like this got it on a gimbal on a vest trying to pull it out and just start-stop recording uh, it's pretty much impractical to do that and it's a pain in the butt that that is sort of one of the op only options and not to sort of add insult to injury I think with uh, uh, a lot of these uh, mobile phone apps is they try to emulate all the screen controls of the camera which in my view is a pointless exercise because the controls of the camera are far far easier to use than anything on a mobile phone. Fair enough if you're going to have the camera remotely uh, located somewhere where it's not easily accessible but not many people do that so in my view all of these mobile phone uh, remote controls are just a waste of time and money if, if for those who actually charge for them. The other type of remote that's available uh, or has been available on and off uh, sort of uh, handheld units like a, uh, dongles and so on but all the people who make them can't seem to help themselves and make just a simple start-stop uh, device. They've got to add all the other features into it such as changing uh, camera settings and so on and providing tiny little LCD screens to do that when that is not what people mostly want. Uh, they want something really, really simple. And I've spoken to these people as well as to ask them why don't they make something like that and they basically treat you like an idiot. Um, thinking that this is what people want, but they're not selling them. They go into Kickstarter and soon they just disappear. Uh, even those uh, who are, I believe, are not necessarily Kickstarter driven, probably don't sell many, if any, of them because they're just impractical. You see them on reviews and so forth on websites and whatnot, and that's the last you hear of them. And uh, so clearly they're not making what people want. But that doesn't mean that there are people who don't understand the situation. And that's what I'm getting to just now. Uh, I've got my little notes here so I don't forget anything and I discovered through a video that there is uh, actually available um, just the sort of remote that I'm after. Uh, there's a guy or a gal in China uh, who makes uh, remotes uh, that work with the Pocket 4K. I'm not sure if it works with the 6K or the 6K Pro. Um, uh, it's probably easy enough to find out if, uh, if uh, that's what you're looking for and he sells them on Taobao which is a completely Chinese uh, eBay sort of site and it's in Chinese. If you understand Chinese, you can go and directly buy through there. Uh, if not, um, I went through a uh, site called Taobao Focus which translates uh, um, the Chinese uh, site to English and they act as an intermediary, intermediary and if you want to buy something, you put the order through them, they'll buy it through Taobao, probably put a markup on it. 
then inform you when it's available and you pay the shipping costs uh, to wherever you buy it from and you get the product. And it took me probably about a week or so to get it. And this is the product I bought. Came in a nice little uh, gold box. Inside was a Velcro strap that allows you to attach uh, the remote control to handles and things like that, your choice. And the remote itself is a simple device that looks like that. This is the one that I bought. Now, he makes three types. This one, which is nothing but a start-stop. Uh, there's another one which has a focus control on it, and another one which is even more complex with other controls and so forth on there. Um, I didn't need them, I didn't want them, I just wanted this little device that uh, controls the start, stop of recording on the camera. It's only got a button on there, and it's got an on-off switch, so that actually enables it. So as soon as you turn this on, the camera recognises that you've got this little module here. And I'll get on to some other factors about that. Um, Design-wise itself, it's been 3D printed, um, but it's not manky. It's uh, actually uh, quite a good feeling unit. It feels, feels nice. It's got a uh, screen printed uh, front on it that looks quite professional. Uh, you can see that it's been screen printed, but uh, that's really not an issue. It has a quarter inch uh, thread at the bottom and a little uh, uh, sort of a slotted uh, a raised part there which takes the velcro i've attached a uh, cold shoe mount on there so i can actually attach it to my camera my uh, gimbal and wherever through a uh, hot cold shoe and uh, it contains an arduino chip in there uh, with bluetooth and so on a micro usb port for programming so all up this is exactly what i wanted because what you do or what i do anyway is I can attach it to my handle on my camera like that and just control it. This is basically what I've been after for two years, something really simple like this. And all it requires is basically just putting it on there and it connects. Now, there must be some interference going on here at the moment because this is the second time now I've found that when I turn it on, I'll turn the camera off. It works everywhere but in this environment. There's a lot of Bluetooth and uh, stuff going in here, so I'm just wondering whether there's a bit of interference. Up oh, now, there we go. Just had to turn the camera back on again. So you can see there, it's starting to uh, do the recording, get my camera level, and it stops recording. So it's as simple as that. And I've been testing it quite a bit, and it doesn't doesn't seem to have any issues whatsoever. Um, that was the only problem that I seen, uh, first came across right now was that the fact that it didn't uh, start operating. So I think there could be something that this turns itself off if you're not using it straight away because the camera's been on for quite a while. So I don't know. But it has been working perfectly uh, every time I've used it. So it works well putting it on the handle like that. And I can put it onto the gimbal handle like that and this would have been so handy at the event that I was shooting where I can just simply go there and start stop recording like that um, without any any drama or anything else like operating so that is exactly what I wanted and I'm very very pleased with the unit uh, will it stand the test of time I don't know um, will the battery issue be a problem I don't know uh, you can run it off uh, the USB powering it directly so you're not relying totally on the uh, internal battery because I don't know how long that actually will last. I haven't done any testing on that. Uh, but you can put a uh, USB power source to it, connect it through a uh, outlet on there, it converts it to five volts and uh, have power to it at all the time that you might need. So I think that part of it is really, really good. The complications arose was setting it up. So when you turn the Bluetooth uh, first time on for the camera and turn this on, the camera puts out a six digit code and says input that uh, from your into your device so that it can communicate and recognize it. That was the difficulty. Now, it took me two days to sort out and figure out how to do it. Um, the instructions are, are, are non-existent virtually for it. Um, there are Chinese uh, instructions. There were some guidelines uh, on how to do it, but it was very, very vague. I uh, made some inquiries through some IT people. They really didn't provide much information, couldn't help me at all. Um, but eventually I've worked it out um, uh, by trial and error and what you need to do is you first connect the camera to or the remote to your computer. You've got to make sure that it recognises it. There's a process for that. And then once you've done that, you use a, uh, an app that you can get off, uh, which I found Microsoft's site was the best one. And once you've connected, there's a process involved. 
that then sends the uh, code to the camera. And once you've done that once, uh, this will be recognised by the camera each time that both units are turned on. Because it's complex and because there are people uh, that aren't fully IT uh, savvy, and I'm only sort of semi-savvy, but I managed to work it out, I've created a Word document with every step included in there, links to the Taubo Focus uh, uh, site where you can buy it, um, where you can get the uh, necessary drivers for it if your computer doesn't have it, and how you go through the process of uh, uh, setting this up and getting it to communicate with the camera in the first uh, stage so that uh, the numbers tally and that it's recognised. Uh, I think I've got everything, all the steps in there. Uh, I did it sort of out of memory. Um, once I already had it worked out, I realised that rather than just talking about this, uh, it helps people to actually give them good guidance. A lot of people don't do that. They'll, give, they'll basically say, oh, ask me some questions, but that's not really enough. Um, so I've written a guide for it. Uh, it's a three-page guide uh, with diagrams and everything else in there um, that will assist you in going through each of the steps required to uh, get this into your computer and then communicate with the camera so that uh, it's recognised. I hopefully got all the bits and pieces, so all the stages and steps uh, right because um, I did it in, uh, from memory after I'd already got this set up. But uh, if there are any issues, you can certainly give me a, uh, contact me and I'll see what I can uh, work out. But uh, that's the remote. I'm really happy with that. Um, hopefully it will stand the test of time. Um, but I think this is an example for people who think that they're making the right products and they're not, uh, produce things like this. I mean, I don't know why Blackmagic couldn't have done that. Um, it would have been so much easier to have a, a manufacturer actually produce this and uh, have something that you know is going to be compatible with the camera and potentially have some sort of backup support. So um, it just takes one individual to do the right thing and get it right. Um, if he was able to sell these on Amazon, I think he'd make a killing uh, because this unit is so good. It's simple, basic, exactly what most people are looking for and uh, has been you know, waiting for this for two years to come about. I'm glad I finally got it. I wish I had it two years ago, but that's life. So anyway, that's all I've got to say today. Hopefully that's going to be of uh, use to people. And uh, if you do have any issues with it, don't hesitate to contact me. I will do my best to help you out. So on that note, I'll say cheers.